How's it going guys, Grenader here, and today I've got a uh, some gameplay from the beta, and uh, the beta so far looks amazing. It's uh, Siege of San Shanghai, I believe, that's how it's, I think that's how you pronounce it, but um, it's uh, America versus China, and um, Battlefield 3 was about um, America and Russia, so I guess they're switching it up now. But um, so far, of what I've played, it's a great game. So I'm thinking of also getting Battlefield 4. At first I thought it would be the same Battlefield as we all know today, but um, it's a bit different. And there are different attachments, um, different weapons, different play styles now, since um, building, so in Battlefield 3, Let's compare Battlefield 3 and 4 for a minute. So, Battlefield 3, you can destroy buildings, but they you can't like make it collapse, unlike Battlefield 4. Um, as of what I know, I don't know if it's true or not, but um, in Battlefield 4, in uh, the map I'm playing right now, Siege of Shanghai, the building falls no matter what like in the middle of the game it just falls and I think that's pretty awesome but I don't think you can if well I don't know I haven't tried it but maybe you can put a lot of C4 hit it with an RPG I don't know but as of right now I don't think that you can uh, destroy a building but it'll collapse like it's part of the game but in Battlefield 3 you could like um, take Craig Island for instance if you don't know what that map is it, um, just try to bear with me but it's a uh, it's a map where there are a lot of buildings and they are um, destructible so you could uh, destroy them but um, they would just fall I mean you would destroy them with a tank or a chopper or RPG C4 stuff like that and they would just no more building but in Battlefield 4 it collapses and it's very tall this building as you can see right now in the gameplay I'm playing on top of the rubble of the tower or the building that fell and what's pretty cool too is how they added the elevator feature how without you won't have to be like running up and down the stairs or stuff like that and as you can see here how that uh, when I died you saw that kill cam sort of thing where how it changed as of uh, well unlike Battlefield 3 when you uh, when someone killed you you would uh, you would see what the your enemy that killed you was doing at the moment but it seems like in this Battlefield 4 it's more like a Call of Duty kill cam to where you saw how you died or how um, like like it's kind of like a replay if you guys know what I mean but a replay and then like a con continuation of what him or her is doing so um, this map here that I'm playing on is massive if I haven't already mentioned it, uh, mentioned it it's huge it's uh, it's amazing because there's that center building right up in the middle and then there's like even more buildings on the side and what I think is pretty cool is how I jumped off from B, which is um, the center building, and you can either from B go to A or from B go to C. So you can jump off, since it's so high, you just jump off and parachute and land on C, capture it, run back to B, capture that, or just climb up and jump over to A. So, um, I think since, uh... I believe Battlefield running Frost Byte X Frost something, and that's the engine that makes everything run or the destructibles and stuff like that. And something else I noticed that I kind of encountered when I was playing Battlefield, I got onto one of the vehicles, um, the tank and the car. And as you can see right now, I'm trying to pull up the score, but I don't know if I'm not doing it right or if I'm kind of retarded, but um, it kept up pulling up like my friends list and stuff like that, but my battle log, I think. But I didn't want to pull that up. I don't know how to. Um, if you guys know how to, leave a comment. 
but um, I'll figure that out later. But as you can see right now, I I was pressing B to try to get into the the car, but it wouldn't work. So then I actually looked at the car and saw that it said uh, press X. So I pressed X and I got on, obviously, and stuff like that. But um, like I said, the game changed a little bit, like in those little aspects of the game, and. Um, I'd say that um, this new way of playing is pretty cool because um, the original way in Battlefield 3 was um, it was like playing a race car game if you guys know what I mean like the right the right bumper no the right um, yeah, I think it's the right bumper where you would accelerate the car or the vehicle and then you would move and you know etc and stuff like that but in this game it's the um, the stick so you would move up your, le your left stick and then it would go you know forward backwards and uh, you know your left and right and I guess that but as you saw here um, the game's already over it was a pretty short game I joined um, I was on the China Chinese team and um, I had fun um, people on the beta are you know kind of excited too since they're playing and it's uh, Battlefield 4 who wouldn't be excited but um, alright so this is pretty much it so thank you guys for watching comment rate, and subscribe and um, I'll be uploading even more videos every weekend as I said before so you guys have a wonderful day and make sure to click on uh, the annotation on the video right now or go to the description or just go to my channel and find my video um, I'm going to do more Minecraft series and stuff like that. So if you guys are interested, go check that out. Peace.